holy shit, this fucking reveal of Bloody Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Vigilantes, Book of No Hero Academia Legals Chapter 114. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored, and I'm just on a nonstop high speed struggle train heading into chaos. Oh, and it's getting faster by the second. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and a kickin', feel free to hit up my Cash App and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So, ooh, this reveal! This reveal! And I, ooh, this reveal. So we found out that, of course, All for One is behind everything. And I, I ain't surprised. I am not surprised because Nameless Number Six is the guinea pig for none other than Shigaraki. Yeah, kitty. And it kind of does confirm that the next level villains were the prototype for the next level Nomu, which I fucking knew. I knew it, knew it, knew it. Mm-hmm. Right, Seto? Yeah, kitty knows. And the timing of this reveal is freaking everything with what's going on in the main manga. And I gotta tell you, with how with how Horikoshi Sensei is writing Class 1A, I do not know if this is like editor interference or what, but god damn, it's really making me not like Class 1A. I really am not starting to like them. And, and the reason why I bring it up is it's really making me appreciate the characters in, in uh, Vigilantes a lot more. <laughs> is i love these characters for hashi you need to go help horikoshi with his hero writing i swear anyways let's get to this chapter see what's in store for us today Woo! the scary guy sent enough missiles after me to stop an army oh, i cannot run them can't shoot them all down oh yeah that's right we got them homing missiles and hmm me thinks those are going to come into play in this final fight Yes! I'm talking about the final fight in the main manga. Um, about to run out of breath. Gonna get tagged. Woo, no other choice. First speed up to the max. Woo! By, um, uh, by myself distance and height. Uh, for some literal breathing room before striking back. Yes! Kanakuichi! And this chapter is titled Dog Fight. Yeah! You know what? This is, can we have Koichi and, like, just be out with Bakugo and freaking Deku and, like, just show him how it's done? Especially Deku, seriously. This chapter is titled Dogfight. Yes! 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 I am down with this dogfight. Okay. Ooh, apparently Kitty is, too. You want to help with the dog? This is a cat fight for you, right, Kitties? Cat fight! You do not like the dog fight. You want to be part of this fight, right, cat? Zeno wants the attention. He wants to be part of the spotlight. The spotlight. Spotlight. Part of the fight. Yeah, right, keys? Right, keys? Oh, attention for key. All right. Woo! This is some fireworks. Everyone's like, what the fuck is going on? Oh my gosh. There's Aizawa just like, what the fuck? And there's Knuckle Duster. He just chill. Dude, I love Knuckle Duster just sitting there. And Soka, dude, Soka's coming in with the first aid. Like, dude, I love this. I love this. Lay down, Kitty. Be a good Kitty. Yes. Just like I love this cat. Such a good key. Ow! I just clipped your nails too, and you're still hurting my freaking knee. We're coming to you live from Narahata, currently in the grip of a major power outage. Whoopa, 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 whoopa. At, the, at this moment in the sky above the town, two unidentified individuals are flying at high speed and firing off glowing projectiles at each other. I know we're going to be seeing this in um, the Deku versus Shigar um, all for one fight. Oh, 
damn straight I, I know it. But you know what? I'm thinking about this and thinking about what we um, got from All for One in the chapter today and how All for One was saying that, you know, that he and Shigaraki have, like, become one. Isn't that how it is for, um, isn't that, well, how it was kind of for um, Nameless Number Six and who he thought was a clock? See, that's why he said he was the guinea pig. <laughs> All right. Sorry. I I almost forgot to mention that. If I didn't mention that, I would hate myself. At this moment in the sky above the town, two unidentified individuals are flying at high speed and firing off glowing projectiles at each other. A midair bell. That's right, viewers. It's a dog fight. Yeah, kitty. It's a dog fight. Cat fights are between girls. Yeah, that's right. That's right, cat. Deal with it. Let's see. There's a camera guy in that chopper for, for a TV broadcast? That means, ooh, news of all this is going to reach uh, beyond Arahata and the heroes are going to show up. Oh, thank God. It's all going to work out just fine. All I got to do is keep running. Whoops, your bell took a turn from the, uh, for the bombastic. I suppose we could call Operation Anonymous the total failure. Dude, I fucking love this design so much. I do. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta I gotta look at this real quick. Hmm. Okay. You know what, Betancourt, this does look a little bit better. It does. It does. The party ends here, number six. <gasps> yes! Thank you! I know see, I told you, I knew it was all for one! Oh my god, your timing, your timing! Shall we move to the retrieval phase? Rallying from the setback, uh, rallying from the setback will take time. Mm, no need. Killing him with all the strength I can muster is my one and only goal. My sole desire, my everything. Go on then, show me what you've got. Show me how brightly your very existence can burn. Dude, again, remember. What this is, this is the test run before um, All For One did his shit with Shigaraki. And it is glorious. But goddamn, this looks good. I love this freaking realism going on with Nameless Number Six's uh, skull and, and, um, and the skeleton. Oh, it looks so good. It looks so good. Eek, he's coming right at me. And you know what? You can make the argument that this is all truly a test run to get an idea of how All for One has got to control Shigaraki when he goes when Shigaraki goes into his next battle against Deku. Or you can well wait. Yeah, it really kind of is. Or would you say that this is like 90% or like around the same percentage as Shigaraki right now? That to me makes more sense or maybe even a little less. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section. More missiles? Uh-oh. Huh? They zoom right by. Uh-oh, they went up behind me? Uh-oh. Wall of fire behind, a bomb punch in front. I got no way out. Ooh, can't escape, so gotta defend with all the oomph I've got. Come on, Kuichi. Huh? Oh, shit, what the fuck? He's falling out of the sky? Talk about a case of <laughs> Talk about a case of burnout. Is he dead? Oh, no. The bomber villains, when did I get here? I see, I see. This is what you meant by mustering all your strength. You bought enough time with the scant um, power left in your own body to summon the Anon soldiers to the site of uh, your crash landing. All those bomber cells, um, uh, all those bomber cells ready to fuse with you and then detonate. 
Allow me to witness this number six, your final shining act. The powerful incarnation you've long desired. Holy shit, this is boss. This is fucking boss. Oh my god. So, I'm trying to think where this would be. Like, percentage-wise. Because, remember, this is a guinea pig of, like, the merger with the, uh, um, with the All for One and Shigaraki. I feel like... I feel like this would be... You know what this is kind of giving me? Now that I'm really thinking about it, it's kind of like what we see, what we've seen in um, Kengan Omega in particular with uh, with the cloning process. That's what it's kind of giving me, especially with based on how it's worked, because we haven't had like the same um, uh, process that Shigaraki has gone through, laboratorial wise, um, because what Shigaraki went through, laboratory. Um, process wise was like a combination of the um uh oh my god next level villains meets um nameless number six so whereas with uh um with the worm or well not specific well somewhat with the worm but more specifically with uh um with the uh western um oh my god with the Wu clan, there we go. With the Wu clan, they have like the specific way of, of cloning. It's not like traditional cloning. It's where you like become um, the person by like just re like listening to like this mantra or like, you know how when you listen to a mantra or something like that, like multiple times. And then at some point you start believing it, believing you're that person. Yeah, you know, when you start, uh, that, let me reward this. You know what, like, after a certain amount of times you uh, stay to, say a lie, you ultimately believe it, and it becomes true? That's what, that's how the cloning process works. Like, you ultimately, like, listen to um, this person and uh, to this person's life, about this person's life, and you ultimately become this person. That's what, um, that's what goes down with the Wu Clan in um and Kang and Omega and that's what we kind of have we kind of have here that's what it's kind of making me think of with Nameless number six I'm not gonna lie um and the worm actually the worm and slash the Wu clan kind of use that as a service as well and it's kind of weird <laughs> it really is it's so hard to describe it go read Kang and Omega you'll understand but it's really fascinating. It really fucking is. But the simple, yeah, the, um, to simplify it would be like you tell someone, um, you, uh, lie to yourself so much that it just become, that it just manifests itself and it be ultimately becomes true. That's what this is. That's what nameless uh, this is. This isn't like, what Shigaraki, what we have right now in Book of No Hero Academia with Shigaraki and All for One. Nah. Nah. This is like the, this is the, um, prototype to that. This and the next level villains were, as I said, the this and the next level villains were the prototype for that. Yes. And you know what? I like this. I really do. I love how Furuhashi is setting this up. I really do. I think it's so freaking brilliant. And I gotta tell you, Nameless Number 6, this is goddamn brilliant on your part. It is. And if you think about it as well, this is kind of like early Shigaraki as well. And remember... Remember in early Boku no Hero Academia, I'm talking about the main manga. Um, and also, you could also make the argument in the early, uh, when we saw, I think we saw this in Shigaraki's backstory as well. We saw how um, All for One was manipulating um, Shigaraki. We kind of, uh, this has got to be where it's coming from, is this. Yes! 
the emotional manipulation. I really love this. I do. And Betancourt, your art is just getting better and better. I do wish, though, that the scar was, like, popping more. If the scar was just popping more, I think it, I'm trying to think how it would work. But I think if, like, the skeleton was, um, like, the skull was just a little bit darker, it would just make everything pop. But, man, I'm very, very happy. Very happy with this chapter. I am. I really do like what we're getting here. I'm liking how everything is tying in with what we're seeing in the main manga. Um, I'm really really hoping we're gonna get some of our vigilantes in the main manga soon i really am but for Ahashi, the fact that you are confirming what i've been like tinfoil hatting my my theories and all that the fact that i'm getting it just really makes my life <laughs> it does keep doing this my dude keep doing this i am very very pleased I am. I'm very curious what you guys think. What do you guys think of this whole thing that we have here with um, with All for One and Nameless Number Six? Um, do you guys agree with me, especially based off of last chapter as well with that confirmation that this is like the um, the second part of like a test run for um, for All for One? You know, merging with uh, with Shigaraki. It really goddamn is. And to me, it's like the human element where you have like the mental element where you have um, the next level villains being like the physical element and nameless number six being like the mental manipulation. That's what it kind of feels like. I'm really curious what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Sync. And if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more uh, Boko no here Academia content, there's a few ways you could do that. Get into my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something on my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, um, Discord, friend me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.